Hi everyone and welcome to this short tutorial. Today I'll show you in just a few minutes how to detect and determine if an object is visible to a camera in Unity. Without further ado, let me introduce this simple system we'll see today. We are in a relatively simple scene. What interests us today is our player and their camera, which we have here, a first-person camera, and the other element is this grey sphere located in the middle of the scene. To clearly demonstrate the system and prove that it works, I'll separate the game view, which is the player's perspective, from the scene view, so we can have an overall view. When I press play, you'll see that the sphere turns green. As long as the player keeps the sphere in their field of view, it will remain green. If the player looks away and no longer sees the sphere, you can see in the scene tab on the right that it turned red. If it re-enters the field of view, it turns green again. In short, it's exactly what I promised in the title. We're going to recreate this very simple system together, allowing us to determine if an object is visible to a camera or not. For instance, here we are changing the color, but it could be basically anything. I have reset my scene. The only thing I've kept is my first person character. This system will work with all kinds of camera anyway. So as long as you have a camera in the scene, it will work. I'll recreate exactly what I showed in the introduction. So I'll add a 3D object into my scene, a sphere, and I'll place it roughly in the middle. Then we'll add the script that will handle this camera detection system. You can attach the script to any object your player, the camera, or the object to be detected. In my case, I'll attach it to my player. I'll select my player and click Add Component. You can name this script whatever you like. I'll call it Check Visibility. Open the script in Visual Studio. I'll keep the void update method, but first we'll create two small variables. To detect whether an object is visible to a camera, we need a reference to this object and the camera. So let's create two variables, private, a game object for our target object, and a camera for our player's camera, which I'll call player camera. Next, we'll create a method that determines if the object is within the camera's field of view. This method will simply return a boolean, true, if the object is visible, and false, otherwise. We can call it is visible and start working on its content. Let me explain how this will work. A camera's field of view is defined by what's called a frustum. Imagine a pyramid with the top cut off. It's a truncated shape. In Unity, all camera views are based on these frustums, which consist of six planes. Right, left, top, bottom, far, and near. The camera displays everything within these six planes. If you select your camera in Unity, you'll see white lines representing its field of view. If you move close to the player and position yourself roughly at the camera's location, you'll see this frustum representing the view angle. And this is exactly how it works. We'll create a plane array to store these six planes using geometry utility dot calculate frustum planes. We'll retrieve the planes for the camera we're analyzing, which is the player camera variable. And now that we have the camera's planes, we can check if the distance between the object and each plane is greater than zero. If it is, the object is on the correct side of the plane and within the field of view. This check can be done with link in a single query. If you and check if the distance to the object's position is greater than or equal to zero. And if all checks pass, the query returns true, indicating visibility. Otherwise, it returns false. If you prefer not to use link, there is an equivalent for each loop. It does the exact same thing, but it's slightly more verbose. Finally, let's use the result of the isVisible method to recreate the example from the introduction. We'll check if the object is visible, access its renderer component and modify its materials color. If it is visible, the color will be green, otherwise it will be red. This code could be cleaned up and simplified, but it's sufficient for this example. Save your changes and you can go back into Unity, assign the scripts 
target variable to the sphere or your object and the player camera variable to your player's camera. When you press play, as long as the sphere is in the camera's field of view, it will turn green. If you look away, it will turn red. Simple as that. But just so you know, this system uses the object's pivot point to determine if it is inside the frustum planes or not. Which means that a big object or an object being very close to the camera might not behave as expected. In that case, make sure to change the object's pivot point or simply add an offset being the same size as the object itself. This way it will be considered inside the plane even though its center is not. But it is a very specific case that won't concern many of you. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you'd like to support the channel, consider subscribing and liking the video. See you guys around. Code friend, out.